Today, I am going to explain a Japanese mystery thriller film called Honor Student. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. The story starts in Ichikawa High School in a small Japanese town. The senior students are in the classroom receiving their recent test results. One of the students is Miyamoto Asuka, a friendly but academically dumb student. Even though the test was the easiest one so far, she doesn't get any answers right and scores a zero. Her boyfriend, Yoshida, looks at the brighter side, stating that zero is Asuka's lucky number. They are scolded by the teacher, who knows if Asuka doesn't start studying, her future is bleak. Then, it is time for another history test that Asuka dreads. The first question asks her to name a monument that is famous for granting wishes when offered a coin. She doesn't know the answer, but instead of leaving the space blank, she writes the name of a random place called Gachimo. Just when she puts the name down on the paper, bright light can be seen outside the window. Somewhere in the city, a strange path of jungle forms on its own. The following day, she and Yoshida are on their way to school when they come across a path. They do not remember it being there prior to today, which makes them curious. Letting curiosity get the best of them, the couple decides to explore it. After a minute's walk, they find a shrine whose name they cannot pronounce. Asuka throws a coin and wishes to get a hundred on his next test. The two then return to school without thinking much of the exploration. They get the result of the previous test and Asuka scores five out of a hundred. She huffs at herself for believing in the shrine's power. That day, the class has yet another quiz about world politics. The first question asks them the name of the current Japanese prime minister. Asuka doesn't have a clue, but instead of leaving the paper blank, she writes Yoshida's name on it. She doesn't know the answers to any of the questions after that, so instead, she takes a nap. After school, Asuka and Yoshida go to her house to hang out. As soon as they walk in, they hear the noise of her parents arguing. Her father is a salesman who is about to be laid off, while her mother has an affair with a younger man. Asuka asks Yoshida to ignore them and brings him to her room. On the way, he notices empty plates and bowls outside a door. It turns out that Asuka has a twin brother named Keisuke. He used to be the best in his studies ever since elementary school. He never scored anything less than a full score on every test. But that is until one day when he failed the high school entrance exam. Since he was known as the best scorer, the failure was very hard on him. Ever since then, he has locked himself away in his room. He doesn't talk to anyone and is always on the computer playing games. I Asuka sulks after talking about her brother. To make her feel better, Yoshida goes to the supermarket to get them something to eat. Somewhere else, their teacher is grading the test papers. Suddenly, the shrine starts glowing and so do the teacher's glasses. A while later, Asuka calls Yoshida and asks him what is taking so long. Yoshida claims that he is terribly busy and won't be able to hang out today. Right after the call, she gets a text from her classmate saying that Yoshida is in huge trouble. It turns out that he has been selected as the Prime Minister of Japan. The interviews of him posing for the camera as the Prime Minister are going viral on social media. The next day, Asuka goes to school, still confused about how her boyfriend, who went to the grocery store, turned into the Prime Minister. Well, people have been elected for less. Several other news about the presidents of different countries going missing is also going around the school. The teacher arrives with the graded papers and hands Asuka hers with a big smile on his face. Surprisingly enough, she got full marks on the test, even though she left most of it empty. On taking a closer look, she realizes that Yoshida became the prime minister because she wrote so on the test. Similarly, the presidents of other countries are going missing because she left all the other questions blank. The shrine has granted her the wish, but in a different way than she would have thought. Now, the world will change according to her answers for her to get the full marks. To redeem her mistake, she Googles all the right answers and writes them down on the test paper. Fortunately enough, the plan works and Yoshida is fired on his first day at work. The presidents from around the world are also found instantly and everything goes back to normal. It is then time for the next test. This time, Asuka is not nervous because nothing much can be changed if she answers wrong on a math test. After school, Yoshida meets Asuka again and tells her how he was fired. Asuka calms him down before telling him the truth about her strange power. 
Yoshida doesn't believe her and asks her to write something to prove it. But before she can, a tower in the middle of the town starts wiggling. This is because of a mistake she made on the math test. The couple immediately runs to the teacher's room and corrects the mistake, finally bringing the tower to its original form. Even the experts on TV cannot explain what caused the building to wiggle. While returning home, Asuka and Yoshida go to the place where the shrine was earlier. But it has completely vanished by now. Since they do not remember the name, they have no way to look for it again. Now, the only way to save the world is for Asuka to study hard and get all the questions right. Determined to do her best, she sits down to study that night, but falls asleep a few minutes later. In the following scene, Asuka and Yoshida are outside the teacher's room, patiently waiting for him to grade the recent test papers. As expected, Asuka gets full marks, but she hopes she doesn't make a significant change to the world. On returning home, her father greets her excitedly, having made the biggest sale of his career. Asuka unknowingly wrote that tap water is the most valuable source of energy in the last test. This made people buy more water purifiers and, in turn, made her father a lot of money. She panics for a second, but after seeing her father happy, she decides to keep the world as it is for now. Later that day, the news reports a bunch of riots happening around the world for water. When things get out of hand, Asuka quickly corrects the answer sheet and changes the world back to normal. Suddenly, she gets an idea to solve her parents' marital problems using the power that she has. In the next test, she is asked the name of the astronaut who is about to go on a long trip to space. She writes the name of her mother's boyfriend and sends him to space the next day. Because of this, he breaks up with her mother. She starts focusing on her family and her husband after his departure. Asuka's life could not get any better. Now the only person she has to help is her twin brother, Keisuke. In the next test, she writes that her brother would come out and wish everyone good morning. That's a weird answer. What was the question? The plan doesn't work as she had thought, though, because instead of Keisuke coming out, their father barges into his room and forces him to come outside. This causes a huge argument in the family. It is revealed that her father has again been threatened to be laid off, and her mother has started texting other men. Asuka finally registers that solving her problems with the power is only temporary. She starts making an actual effort to talk to her brother. Since he is still an academic genius, she sits outside his door and studies out loud every day. She makes several mistakes that bother Keisuke, but he doesn't correct her for a few days. Then, one day, she tries skipping a math problem because it is too difficult. Keisuke talks for the first time and teaches her how to solve it. Because of her brother's guidance, Asuka starts studying harder, even though he only talks to her through a closed door. Eventually, her father starts reading books for salesmen and puts extra effort into his work as well. Her mother also deletes all of her lover's numbers from her phone and focuses on her family. Why'd she do that? Who knows? A week later, Asuka scores the full marks on a test without anyone's help. She runs to Keisuke with the good news, but he refuses to open the door, even then. The following morning, Asuka and her parents are at a dining table enjoying a meal. To their surprise, Keisuke comes downstairs and greets them. He also apologizes to his father for giving up and promises to do better from now on. One day, on their way to school, Asuka and Yoshida find the first test paper inside Asuka's bag. She had torn it because she scored only 5 out of 100. She joins the pieces together, which suddenly forms the passageway to the shrine. Only then does she notice that she had written about a wish-granting shrine named Gachimo as the very first answer. The shrine must have manifested because of it. The couple quickly goes to the shrine and begs to reverse the wish and change the world back to normal. They wait for something to happen and are disappointed when nothing changes. In school, the teacher takes yet another test, this time about world geography and population. Suddenly, Asuka remembers that the shrine only granted her wish because she offered a coin. This means to reverse the wish, she will have to take the coin back. She quickly completes the test and rushes to retrieve it. However, the coin is inside a locked chest. She uses a stick to try to get it out and is almost successful. Somewhere else, Keisuke and his parents are chatting about his future. He is happy to have finally gotten over his hiatus and is excited for his life ahead. His mother is also sorry to have troubled her husband so much. The family finally solves their differences in one sitting. Simultaneously, we see Asuka's teacher grading the most recent test. He gets to Asuka's paper and she scores 100, as usual. 
At the same time, she accidentally drops the coin back into the chest. Suddenly, the coin shines a bright light on her. Seconds later, no one is in front of the shrine. In fact, the entire city, country, and the world is empty, as if every human being vanished out of the blue. In the last scene, we see that Asuka missed the final question in the recent test. The question asks what the current world population is. Since Asuka left it blank, humans stop existing. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you.